In this video, I will show you how to find out on which pages do your visitors leave your website. And we'll do that with Google Analytics 4. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to the Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where I teach people how to work with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. So if you want to stay up to date with GA4, then consider subscribing to this channel. Let's say that a visitor lands on your site, then goes to another page, and then goes to one more and leaves. In this video, you will learn how to create a report of the last page of the session. It means that you will know which pages are abandoned the most. When I'm recording this video, you cannot see exits in standard Google Analytics 4 reports. Maybe in the future they will add this, but right now, if you want to see those numbers, you will need to go to Explore, then select Free Form, then you can remove the existing values, for example, dimensions that were used right here. And instead, you should add an additional dimension by clicking this plus, then select page path. And you can select whether you want to see just page path or page path and URL parameters. Right now, let's select this option without URL parameters. Click import. Then double click on this dimension to add it to the rows. And we can already see the most popular pages based on the number of users and actually active users. But we can also add additional metrics to this table. But before we do that, we have to include them in this metrics section. So click plus, and then let's add several metrics. For example, views, which is page views. Then you can select, for example, exits. Click checkbox and then import. Now you can double click on these two metrics to add them to this exploration. So let's add views and add exits. And now if you want to sort this by the number of exits, you can click on this metric right here. And now you can see the most popular pages that were last in the session of every user. So we can see that most people land on the homepage, but also most people leave the site on the homepage as well. As I've said before, Exits metric is not available in standard reports, but I could probably guess maybe in the future they could add this. So here is what you could try if you're watching this video, let's say six or maybe 12 or maybe even more months in the future. I would go to pages and screens report. I would click this pencil to customize the report. Then I would go to metrics and then I would click add metric and I would be looking for exits right here. Right now, when I'm recording this video, this is not possible, but maybe if in the future they expand the functionality of Google Analytics, maybe that exits metric will also be available right here. And that is how you can view exits in Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. And also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.